Hi, I'm Jennifer with Martingale, and today I have a trunk show for you that is a big treat. It is the quilts from the book Oh Happy Day by Cory Yoder. You might know her online as Coriander Quilts, and we love Cory Yoder. She does fabrics for Moda Fabrics. She's a designer for them uh, and their fabrics line, and she's got fabulous quilts. There are 21 quilts and pillows in this book, so let's get started. This one is called The Proposal, and it is made with fat quarters. She thought it would make a great gift for a wedding gift or an engagement party, and I agree, it is beautiful. Now, as I said, there are 21 quilts and pillows in the book, so every quilt has a pillow project that Corey shares with you an alternate uh, colorway. So this is The Proposal pillow, but she's done it up in some happy, bright fabrics. So this was also made with pieces from Fat Quarters, but you could obviously do it from anything. Corey does share in the book her method for making pillows and uh, all you need to know about finishing them. But it's always great to be able to see a quilt in an alternate colorway because maybe the quilt isn't your style. Um, one of the things that Corey said in this book is that happy fabrics make happy quilts. And so she really was all about selecting happy fabrics for these. And I think she nailed it on this next one called Best Loved. And these are Corey's favorite colors. She says she tends toward warmer colors. And um, how many of you were Friends fans in the 1990s? If you watch the Friends shows, Corey has given every uh, one of her quilts a subtitle that starts with the one. So the Friends episodes were always the one where something happened. Um, so this one is the one made with favorite colors. And the favorite colors, this is the alternate option. So maybe you're more of a muted neutral tones. This is the pillow, and I've just taken the pillow forms out of them, but this is the pillow that goes with Best Loved. So you can make those in your favorite colors. This next quilt, I love the name of it. It's called Friends Forever, the one made for a friend, and I'm gonna show you why. So it's these beautiful patchwork friendship stars, like giant friendship stars. She's got a special technique for how she pieces them together and uses the leftovers to make this bonus quilt, which could be the one made for a friend. Or if you're a better friend, maybe the other one was made for your friend and this is the one that you keep. I don't know what that says about any of us. I can tell you which one I'd be making for me, but I've got my celebrity guest holder here who only has a hand that she shows. Give him a wave, celebrity guest holder. There you go. Um, this one is called Generations of Love, and it's the one that Grandma made. And I love the story behind this. Corey shares that her grandmother made a quilt, and she didn't make a pattern for it. She just wanted to make the best use of the fabric that she made. So Corey made this one, I believe, using a layer cake um, and trying to make the best use of that. Nope, this is not from a layer cake. There's another one, I think. A jelly roll, made from a jelly roll. Okay, and I knew I was gonna do this, but I forgot to show you. This is the pillow that goes with the Friends Forever. And this is the pillow that goes with Generations of Love. So a couple alternate colorways there. And again, that last quilt was made with a jelly roll because this one is called Sweet Cake and it is made with a Moda layer cake, which if you're not familiar, a layer cake is a package of uh, 10 inch squares and you get a great variety, at least one of every fabric in the mix and two of many of them. And this is called Sweet Cake, the one made with a Moda layer cake. Isn't it fun? And the blues, she used two different blues, one for the blocks in the center uh, and another one here in the border. So it's kind of a scrappy mix, I love that. But maybe the dark blue isn't your favorite and you would prefer something in more of a turquoise with this gray. I love the addition of that. 
So that's the sweet cake pillow pattern. This one is the namesake of the book and this quilt is called Oh Happy Day. And isn't this a happy quilt made with solids, everything except the border. And the border I think is what she used to choose her solid fabrics from. So she used the Bella solids and assorted her colorway by choosing colors from the border and then adding in a few more things. So, oh happy day, the one made with solids. Love that. And here's the oh happy day pillow. One thing I like about Corey's method for making a pillow is that there's um, a easy binding method, like binding a quilt around the outside so you don't have to worry about adding in piping or getting your corners just right. We all know how to bind a quilt, so um, why not bind your pillows the same way? This quilt is called Solitude, and it is the one that's quilted by hand. So all these little gray lines that you're seeing are big stitch quilting, all quilted by hand. And Corey grew up in a family that had a tradition of quilting and hand quilting. And she has fond memories of sitting around at quilting days. And for her, that meant potlucks and being with all the ladies in her family and just really enjoying the day together. So solitude is based on that great time spent with the women in her family. And I love this little pillow, which is the solitude pillow option. Such a cute uh, pillow and then she used the um, diagonal stripe for the binding so it gives it kind of a candy shop feel to me. Alright, you're probably familiar with Ohio Stars and this is called Ohio Girl. The one made with the favorite block and because Corey lives in Ohio and grew up in Ohio, of course the Ohio Star would be her favorite block. So what a lovely um, way to honor her family and her history of being an Ohioan. And here's a happy pillow using her warm colors that she likes. Okay, if you're in the need of a sweet baby quilt pattern. This might be the one. It's called Slow Down, the one made for baby. How cute is that? A little reminder for the new mom that things are going to change. Slow down and enjoy this period. And one of the things that Corey did for this is added um, uh, so soft backing. So like the cuddle or the so soft. It's just uh, feels so great. You can imagine or I can imagine my grandchild laying on there and just having the best time or wrapping up on a cold wintry day. And if the brighter primary colors aren't for you, how about a cute little pastel blue and yellow and green turtle? Sweet as can be. And last but not least is this happy quilt called Twinkle and Shine, the one made for Christmas. I'm not sure if you see the X's sort of made by the stars or the O's made by the pinwheels, but it is absolutely stunning. And it reads on the camera as though it's a solid, but it's really like small dot prints, um, maybe like a grunge dot. Uh, absolutely gorgeous in person and her quilting sort of mirrors the same uh, design with the circles absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. It can also be for any season. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these quilts in our trunk show today. All of the patterns you can find at Oh Happy Day. The book is by Corey Yoder and you can get it at shopmartingale.com or wherever you buy books. Happy quilting!